Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, the Topper Chef channel. Today we are going to make Indian fish Florentine. Okay guys, for the marinade for our fish here is, uh, I took one teaspoon of haldi, which is turmeric, and one teaspoon of chili powder and salt. We're going to mix this together. And it's just basically our Indian kind of spices. Okay, now you can either spice it up too much, it's better not to spice it up too much what happens is then it changes the flavor completely of the fish fish when it's fresh and nice and you get a good taste of uh, i mean a good fresh fish you don't want it to mask its flavor with a lot of spices so now this is a cod fillet you can see it's a whole fish and what i'm gonna do is cut it into small pieces like this and this is a very flaky fish you gotta be very careful when you are frying it because it has a tendency to break apart so there you are there you go see how it breaks apart Okay, so I'm gonna take this and just sprinkle, this is my fish, sprinkle a good amount of it over everything, and then flip it over. And let it sit for half an hour. Now I'm gonna just flip this over like this. It has enough salt. You don't want to put more salt or anything. And as you can see, always good, nice lemon juice will go well on this. So I'm just going to flip this, flip this on both sides. Now to this, I'm going to put this all here and just lightly drizzle some vinegar on it which is our our vinegar so which is the cider vinegar i prefer cider vinegar because it reminds me very much of my native place which is goa and gives it good flavor to this instead of acetic acid or anything like that so now let it sit for about half an hour or so and then we will fry this after half an hour okay so first for the fish florentine we gotta make the spinach now whenever you hear florentine means there's a spinach base on it so if you hear egg florentine chicken florentine means it's served on a bed of spinach now we're gonna cook the spinach really fresh spinach with some garlic and some butter always use butter and garlic because then it doesn't burn if you just use it. so this we're going to add now my garlic there you go good amount of garlic because it will all go into 
the spinach. Saute this for some time with the garlic. Okay, so now to this I'm gonna add my tarragon to give it some flavor to it. Now tarragon has got like a licorice flavor, so it gives a nice taste to the spinach, otherwise it will just play taste bland. Now we're gonna add slowly add the spinach which will wilt will become really small amount once you start cooking it. Just move it around a little bit. And give it some flavor, put some salt and pepper. You can always put salt and pepper at the end and just move it around you don't want to overcook it just let it wilt a little bit and this is what instead of instead of uh, you know people used to boil the spinach and keep it this and all this is the faster way i think where it'll give it nice flavor to it and also will be a good accompaniment at the bottom now to this what i'm gonna do is now this is gonna wilt to this I'm going to add some nutmeg, good pinch of nutmeg to it and some cream. Little cream in it. That's it, salt and pepper. Okay, so now we're gonna put a little salt in it and that's it, it's all ready now. You don't wanna cook it too much. And this, this cream will get thick, good enough by the time we are ready to serve the bed of fish. There we go, so this is what it, the base is gonna be. Hey, I turn it off now. Okay, half an hour is up now. And so I'm gonna put some oil, got enough oil. It's called pan frying, so not too much oil. But this oil is now nice and hot. I already put some before. So what we're gonna do is this pan is nice and hot. So we're gonna put this right here. Take the thicker pieces, fry them really nice. Okay, so we want to cook it evenly, scars, uh, make it nice and brown on both the sides, and then we can also finish it in the oven. So always check to see that it's not burning on each side. This is a very flaky fish, so you gotta be very careful how you turn it, otherwise it's all gonna break. The cod fish is really nice for this dish. But you can use any other fish if you want to. But this is pretty much a very good, nice fish. And let it cook good on both sides for three, three minutes. And that's the way you know that it's cooked. Okay, two minutes are up. So again, I'm gonna turn it around so it's nice and hard and nice and brown on both sides. So always be careful when you're flipping it. Look at this, how flaky this fish is. And when you, that sauce goes on top of it, it really becomes nice, 
to eat. Be careful when you're flipping it. Look at this. You gotta be careful. This one. Kind of. There you are. So now, I, on both sides, three three minutes, like I said. So it's nice and crunchy. But you don't want to overcook fish because then it's become it's becoming hard. Plus there is a sauce on top of it. Plus there's a bed of spinach. Usually what they do is they take it off now and then put it and then put it in the salamander or the or the oven for maybe a minute or so that's how we call baking or finishing of the fish okay so now three three minutes are up and i'm going to take this out you can take it out earlier if you want to and put it in the oven with the sauce on it. So here we are. So I'm gonna fry the rest of my fish and then we are gonna show you how to finish this this fantastic fish, cord fish in a nice what do we call fish Florentine sauce. Okay so now we finished frying our fish and we're gonna make our Indian sauce for the fish sauce which is the Florentine. This is what we call It's called a fish, fish uh, reduction or a fish sauce. It's better than using a few mayo or anything like that because it's really potent. So we will reduce this and give it a flavor of the fish. To this, I'm going to add my onion paste, little onion paste. Onion paste. Um, let it bring up. And that onion paste cook with ginger garlic. And to this, I'm going to add my curry powder. Okay, so it cooks very well. You need to cook this very well because of the flavor of the curry otherwise it could taste very raw when we are making the sauce okay so that's good let it cook for maybe one minute more mm, very nice flavor you can smell the garlic, ginger. Now this is a good combination instead of a white sauce. Now you just see the amazing thing. Now this is what our white sauce is. Keep it low. The white sauce that we made, which is on our board. This is what you can mix to this now to make it completely now an Indian sauce. So just let it blend in. Mix it well. And we add a little more cream to it. Let it cook for about two minutes. Or simmer for about two minutes. my salt ready add some salt to it you don't need any pepper or anything to it because it's already got that curry powder so 
Just let it simmer. Once it simmer, it's ready. The sauce a la Indian for our fish. Now always, whenever you are you are serving, suppose you're serving for guests or anything like that, then you need to really uh, pass it through a soup strainer because then all this blackness or all that stuff will really that may, will make the sauce really look elegant and smooth. And to this now, I'm ready to add my parsley. Parsley is always a good thing to add because it just brings out the color and also makes it more presentable. Okay, so now our sauce is ready. It's already simmering everywhere. Voila, here's our sauce a la Indian for instead of the Florentine white sauce, we're gonna serve it on the bed of fish and spinach. So this is the sauce for fish Florentine. Okay guys, now it's ready to present our nice fish Florentine. This is fantastic. Look, the spinach is nice. A good bed of spinach. And to this, we're gonna add our fillets of Indian Florentine sauce on top of it. Good portion of it. Here you are. Some nice parsley on top. Voila! It's ready. Here's our Indian fish Florentine. Enjoy!